whose hand moved the Marcy puppet to destroy sporting integrity in F1, on the 12th of December 2021, at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. This is the million dollar question that we have been denied an answer to, by virtue of Toto Wolff's shameful withdrawal of the Mercedes AMG Petronas's appeal. Our review of the events leading up to and after Marcy's disgraceful engineering suggests that the person most likely to have done so is the billionaire owner of F1, John C. Malone. To recall, following the introduction of the safety car on lap 53 of the 58 lap race, Marcy initially advised that lapped cars would not be allowed to unlap themselves as was customary. Under the existing rules and regulations, this was the best chance of getting one lap of racing which would have left five lapped cars between Hamilton and Verstappen. However, following a radio conversation with Christian Horner... Christian and Michael. Yes, go ahead, Christian. Yeah, why, why, why aren't we getting these lap cars out of the way? Just give me... Well, because Christian, just give me a second. Okay, my main big one is to get this uh, incident clear. You only need one racing lap. Marcy subsequently reversed his decision and declared in direct breach of the regulations governing the restart under a safety car that only the lapped cars between Hamilton and Verstappen could unlap themselves. With this decision, Marcy effectively destroyed the integrity of F1 as a sporting contest by personally ceding the title to Verstappen. Because of the radio message transmitted live during the race, there have been suggestions that Marcy succumbed to combined pressure from Horner and Netflix to stage a last lap race for added television drama. However, we would contend that neither of them were in a position to influence Marcy in this manner. The evidence suggests that it is John C. Malone, the Irish-American billionaire owner of F1, who had the influence and authority to cause Marcy to act with such craven deference and reverse himself so sharply and so hastily to such disastrous effect. The notion that Marcy was doing his master's bidding would also explain the patronizing tone with which he dismissed Toto Wolf's weak plea. Go ahead, Toto. You need to reinstate the lap before. That's not right. Toto? Yes. It's called a motor race, okay? Sorry? We went to car racing. And the manner in which F1 and FIA subsequently rallied around Marcy to the detriment of the sport. It is also Malone who, as the owner of the Maya Shank IndyCar racing team, had prior knowledge and experience of the custom in IndyCar racing, of always finishing races under green flags, which Marcy attempted to implement so disastrously in Abu Dhabi. It is also Malone who as the biggest media magnet in the world, has the influence to induce the subsequent media gaslighting of the outrageous manipulation with multiple reports suggesting that Verstappen was a deserving winner for his efforts over the year. This raises particular concern about the pervasive influence of a media cartel, sacrificing sporting integrity for television drama and increased audiences. All the broadcasters can expect to benefit from heated controversies generated on and off track. In addition the leading F1 broadcasters can be or have been linked to Liberty Media. Sky Sports are the leading broadcaster, televising F1 in at least 13 countries including the UK and the US. Liberty Media had until 2007 been the largest shareholder in News Corp and it was a News Corp executive carry chase that Malone appointed as the inaugural head of F1. Two other leading F1 broadcasters Satanta and Canal Plus who jointly broadcast in 12 countries are part of the Discovery Media Group in which John Malone is the largest shareholder. Last but not least, it is also Malone who as the owner of F1 and Formula E, could have induced Toto Wolf to withdraw his appeal by promising Toto that he would look favorably on Toto and his wife's request for F1 and FE to share race weekends. The evidence, therefore, suggests that John Malone of Liberty Media 
had the clout and the incentive to compel Marcy to manipulate the results of the Abu Dhabi race as outlined above and all the leading F1 broadcasters, including Sky Sports, Viaplay, Satanta and Canal Plus went along with the manipulation because it made for good television drama and increased viewing figures.